Hello everyone, welcome to Off Court Sports, and today we will be reviewing the Yonex Nanoflare 1000 ZZ. So we'll head down on court and see how this one plays. So the Nano Flare 1000 Z is a very fast racket, very good at generating a lot of power. Although, I will, like I will say, there is a little bit of a learning curve, so maybe get it strung at a slightly lower tension, so that we, because it does have a smaller sweet spot. But apart, apart from that, once you once you've mastered the racket, it can produce smashes so like, crisply, super quick. You know. Very powerful, pretty good racket. I'd recommend it. So Fabian, what do you find so unique about the Yonex 1000Z uh, that you can't find in any other racket? I just find that the like the speed is it's pretty amazing. Like, one, like at first it might be uh, like harder to get used to, but once you do, like the actual like generation of power in your smashes, like you can just fire off like really quick smashes with, like, in quick succession, like, relatively easily. So, who wouldn't you recommend this racket for and why? I'd say I uh, probably wouldn't recommend this racket for like, I guess, beginners and I guess more inexperienced players because, like, I mean, the smaller head, frame, head shape uh, gives a smaller sweet spot, which is harder to get used to. The frame's extra stiff as well, which means you need to rely on being able to generate the power yourself. So, in terms of being forgiving, it's not good for that, but for a more experienced player that can reliably hit the sweet spot more, it is definitely much better for that, like it's pretty amazing yeah. once you get used to it. The last question, Fabian, what stringing, tension, and type of string would you advise, and why? Uh, I'd recommend uh, like a thinner string. Like Personally, I use an Energy 98. At, well, I use 22 pounds, which is probably fairly low, but I would recommend going like a few pounds lower than what you're used to, because the, it'll kind of mitigate the fact that it, the sweet spot's a bit smaller, and make it a little bit more forgiving and easy to get used to. Also adding on to what Fabian just said, I think this is a really good racket 
especially for your fast doubles game and attack. It has one of the most steepest smashes you can imagine. It's, very, it's quite ridiculous just how much angle you can get on this racket. I also recommend this to be strung at a lower tension um, just because of the smaller sweet spot as mentioned before and especially for newer players or intermediate players as a lot of the high range rackets are a bit difficult to wield and do come with a learning curve. So Fabian, what do you find so unique about the Nanoflare 1000ZZ that you can't find in any other racket? No, okay, is it capturing anything? It is capturing anything. It's capturing me kissing it. Oh. <laughs> so Fabian, what do you find so unique about the Nanoflare 1000Z uh, that you... A bit difficult to wield and do come with a learning curve. So thank you for watching this video everyone, I hope you found all the information we've provided informative and if you'd like to stay updated for more content, be sure to like and subscribe to Off Court Sports TV. Thank you.